Hi, I'm Porik Walsh. I'm the Chief Executive of QQI. And we're here today to celebrate 10 years of QQI as an organisation. So over the next day and a half, we will be hearing from many of our stakeholders. We've brought over 300 of those together for the first in-person conference that QQI has held since the pandemic. We are across all of the tertiary education sector, so we have providers from higher education, from further education, from the English language area. We have state agencies, we will have the minister along today, and we've many colleagues internationally from the UK, from wider within Europe, from South Africa, from Australia, all here to talk about the many things that we have been doing in the whole area of uh, qualifications and quality assurance. The QQI staff have been amazing. I've met some interesting people at an incredible event. Um, learned some, some new things, some new acronyms. They made me feel really welcome and warm and well prepared and I'm really grateful breadth of the program, uh, the, the knowledge and experience of the speakers. Over the past day and a half, we've heard from our many contributors, from our stakeholders, about many themes to do with quality and qualifications. We've heard about the importance of the student voice, about the really important aspect of protecting academic integrity, of making sure that we're on top of things like digital transformation, but I suppose most importantly echoing the theme of the conference, which was about strengthening strategic partners to affect system change, recognising that we can only do these things by working in partnership uh, with our stakeholders. So we will leave today with that knowledge and commit ourselves over the next number of years to continuing that strategic partnership.